New pilot program in the heart of the Twin Cities is offering a lifeline to victims of human trafficking and abuse. As we close out National Human Trafficking Prevention Month and new at six, WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell explains how the program has already made a difference. In 2021, Ludmila Trandafilova vividly recalls walking into work at the government center and seeing a man gripping the hand of a woman in distress. When I saw her hand, that was terrifying and terrifying to walk away not knowing what I should do. She now knows and helped launch a pilot program in Hennepin County called Safe Spaces. Often bathroom is the only safe space the victim has where they can get a breather or a couple minutes to themselves. Found in the bathrooms of four county buildings is a phone that immediately connects to the Security Operations Center. The stalls also have flyers that go beyond the typical question of do you need help? The suggestion was to ask very direct questions. Uh, do you trade sexual favors for your basic needs? It's in multiple languages and has pull tabs that can be given to any county employee to discreetly alert them they need help. Confidentiality purposes don't have any information on them. In case abusers see later that sleep, they don't know exactly what it's for. Linnea Lindemann says survivors played a critical role in creating the program. Let us know what they would do if they were in that situation and they walked into the bathroom and saw that sign. What would make them feel the safest and what, what would have actually pushed them to pick up that phone or take that slip. Since it launched in October, they've received 17 calls. And there's always someone who will be there to listen if you are ready to talk about it. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Right now, safe spaces can be found in the men's and women's bathrooms at the Government Center, Minneapolis Central Library, Health Services Building, and South Minneapolis Human Service Center.